guys, this video right here is going to be dumb. Go check out my other video where I made a holographic collection right here. Anyways, it's going to be one of the most recent videos. But this one is not a holographic. I may have put this sign that says Pokemon card holographic card log cards. And uh, this one says... Jaden Pokemon card collection, no hollow. This is the new sign. Pokemon no hollow. Cause I put all my hollow reverses in this binder. All my ultra rares. All of my god cards. This is my most favorite page. Go check out the new video. Anyways, we're gonna get into a non hollow thing. First card is a Gravalta. La. This is gonna have 409 cards that are not hollow. So beware. <laughs> beware. Anyways, Gravalta, Electric, and Grass type. Asmeral, Fairy, and Water type. Speaking of this Asmeral. It's just not any Asmural. It's a shiny Asmural. Guys, there might have to be part two, part three, and part four because I'm. Just, it's already been two minutes. We're gonna have Gumi, a Dragon type, Duni, Dunio, and then we're gonna have Axel, Axu. In the cut. And then we're going to have two Jamangos. That no Dragon Claw. Then we got. The strongest card out of these. A Drigagon. Uh, that knows Giga Claw. That. Because it does 100 damage. That's why it says. Alright we got a Clink. I got two Clinks actually. Really? I got two clinks. And then... I got another clink. Alolan Diglett. And then... A first edition Bronzor. Just kidding. It's from um, Diamond and Pearl. I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't say... Oh, it's a base set. Why didn't you put it in your other binder? Because I have my base set cards in here. Anyways, here we got a Primeroid that my friend gave me. A Beldum, a Margina that they build. Then a Mating, then a Jirachi EX that I made a trade with. It's not hollow. Disappointing. It's a world championship card. Then we got a Skarmory to end off the steel types. We're going into the fairy. I got three Fabby. This is the exact same artwork. The other cards. If I had a flipping card thing or something that could stand my phone, then we wouldn't be in trouble. Then you could see all my cards, but sorry. I got three cutie flies. They all have different artworks. The cutie fly. They're all from different sets also. One of them knows fairy wind. One of them knows sweet scent. That heals 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. And then fly around. Here we got a Cleffa. From Team Up I believe. A Marill. A Contini, a Clefairy from Team Up, I'm pretty sure. Then we got a Clefairy from Sun and Moon. Then we got a Sh Burning Shadows, Rimby. Uh, then the uh, second of all form is Floaty right there. It has, um, 
One of the most hardest artworks. I couldn't even draw this. Near mint, but not the best. Condition. Okay. But it's one of the best artworks and will be one of the best. Two Wismacots from different sets. One from 2016 and one from the next year, 2017. Here we got um, the rares. Anyways, I actually put a card wrong in. A card wrong. Hold on, guys. The next card is a Wigglytuff, then a Granbull, which does Tantrum. That does 120 damage, but this Pokemon is now confused. That's the text. Two Houndors, a Sneasel, uh, a Vullaby, the Fat Egg Pokemon. Sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, a Perlin. And then a Sneasel that is not a fake card. Right there. Then we got an EK, a Sableye, and a Purinid. Pawnid. The other card was a Steel type. This one is a Dark type. Because they're both things. Actually, when I was stuck with the fairy type gym leader and Pokemon Sword and Shield, I used this thing. But then I realized it was a dark type and a steel type. So I would have an advantage and a disadvantage. And the card before the fairies is a Alolan Rattata. Here we got Sandile, <coughs> a Dunia. I, I'm sorry, guys. My words suck. Maybe I just should say it. Um, I got a Zorua, a Sandile, two Sneasels, the same artwork. Um, it's that Sneasel one where he's like, and he's on the tree. Here we got a Weavile using Slash, and he's like. Then we got a Corkoro. Then we got. Guys, please act like you didn't hear that. That was one of the nastiest farts in my life. I didn't even fart. Here we got a Haunch Crow from 2010. And it's official card. An official card. It looks like it's brand new, but it's not. Like, fresh from the cards. And we're gonna try to finish this episode with the fire types, because... I'm at 8 minutes. We got a Fennekin breathing flamethrower, but its moveset is in invite out. Then we got a fire type Litwick with flickery flames. Single from this Litten. This Litten single. And then we got a Torchic doing fire flare bonus. And it knows Claw. Yeah. I'm going to watch these videos. I'm going to put a comment. Maybe. If I could put a comment. And grade my own videos. Because I don't have good video quality. But it's up to you guys to figure that out. Here we got a Charmander. One of my most favorite artworks. I traded it with my friend. Char! I, Charmander is my favorite starter. Then we got the back. But when you look at it in real life, it doesn't look good. And I'm not going back to the sink in the other video because it ruined that Oma Star. It's not base set. It's from 2006. Here we got a Ponyta from Evolutions. Here we got a Charmander from Evolutions. Two of them. The reprint of the base set. Here we got a Vulpix. Here we got a Torchic that's going... Like that. And we got two Lidios. They're different. One's like, I'm going to kill you. Just kidding, guys. The, oh, this one's so creepy. Yeah, guys, that's the artwork. And the other one's looking like it's running away. 
Here we got two ponytails that look like they're in a farm. It's like, mmm. Then we got Litwick, a Vulpix, a Magmar, and a Cyndaquil. Here we got a Sandit. Here we got a Growlithe from Evolutions. Charmander from, um, I was about to say Hidden Fates, but it's Burning Shadows. Here we got Charmeleon from, um, I don't know what set this is, but it's an old Pokemon card and it's not in the best condition. You might straight up say this is a fake card, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It just, like, haven't been treated well. We got a Braxian that's playing with its flames. Then we got a Growlithe, another Growlithe with the same artwork that go on a hill. There, I have a Quilava that knows flamethrower, and then we got a Braxian, a clay way, a clay form, a different way, different artworks. I like the Braxian that I just mentioned. This Braxian is my favorite card. Right, that's my favorite fire type out of this collection right now. Then we got a Darmarka, a Growlithe, a Charmeleon from Evolutions. Then we got a Raboot. Yeah, I opened Sword and Shield. From a Dollar Tree pack. Then we got a Charmeleon from Burning Shadows that came with the Charizard thing. Then a Charmeleon from Hidden Fates that I made a trade with my cousin. Then we got a Rushy Ram, Blue Flare. Then we got Darkest, uh, Darkest Lariat and Cineroar for my fire types. Then go check out part two. Link in the below. No, it's not going to be in the link because I don't feel like putting links. But I still got all these Pokemon cards to review. And once we get to the bottom, code card. And I make Pokemon videos. When I have this binder around, I'll show a code card. Yeah. I'll show a code card. For those positive vibes. And see ya in the next one.